Yeah, hey there, Ken. So we have been tracking the road conditions for the past 15 minutes now. Right now we are heading north on I-465. I think we are coming up on the Marion University exit. Um, so it was actually bumper to bumper getting onto the interstate. A lot of drivers are taking it very slow. The roads are slick, so just be extra careful if you're going to have to head out later tonight. Um, you know, a spokesperson for NDOT did tell me earlier crews have been pre-treating the roads with salt today and will continue throughout the night. So as a reminder, you want to give those trucks a lot of space to do their work. But again, we are heading north on I-465. Traffic, uh, traffic rather, was bumper to bumper getting onto the interstate. And it looks like we are going um, roughly like 30 miles per hour right now and 35 miles per hour right now. And you can see um, it looks like we're hitting some traffic right now. But again, give yourself a lot of time if you're going to have to head out later tonight. We'll send it back to you. B, thank you. Well, as you've seen, much of central Indiana is experiencing a snowstorm during rush hour. It's a lot for snowplow drivers to face, and many of them are brand new to the job. I got an inside look earlier today at DPW's operations and how they're keeping up. Come over here. What we're going to do, we're going to check our antifreeze. Make Spend sure 12 level. years inside a snowplow. And our transmission fluid to make sure they're at the proper level. Your power and you'll learn a few things. Make sure there's no leaking of your hydraulic hoses to your spinner. Jamie Cole has that distinction. He even helps train new drivers. And this year, there are quite a few. This year, we had some new men and women. This is going to be their first year um, during the winter with the snowplow. They've been training since about October, um, so they're ready for this. We have a program that we send them through. We have our master plow program that they every new recruit goes through. Regardless of your experience level, drivers say plowing during rush hour like they'll do tonight is tough. I've had a few cars uh, come head on and hit me head on just coming through a coming through a stoplight, you know, not being able to stop. If they see us coming, if they could treat us like we're a fire truck or an ambulance and kind of move to the side and let us get through and clear that path for them, that would be great. And you'll see them. Stokes says a full shift of 80 drivers took to the roads this afternoon, and another 80 will take their place at 11 p.m. tonight. Yeah, we're ready. Big yellow trucks with NDOT are on the same path. They had 217 out on Indiana highways this afternoon and will have full call out in central and northern districts tonight. Cole says his team is in full force as well with a game plan. If we get the burst like we they say we're going to, we will probably slow down on the salting to be more plowing and then pick the salting back up. And that's pretty much how we'll attack it tonight. Earlier today, we mentioned on air how the sub-zero temperatures have affected the chemical road treatments. DPW said the salt isn't as effective on a week like this, so be aware. Roads could refreeze, especially on bridges and overpasses. Good reminder. And with the snow and more bitter cold temperatures on the way, the Department of Homeland Security warning Hoosiers to be prepared. Officials say you should limit your exposure to cold temps and stay indoors if possible. If you are outside, make sure you wear several layers of clothing as well as a hat, scarfs, a scarf rather, and gloves. Don't use an oven as a heating source. And if you use a space heater, uh, make sure it is kept away from anything that could catch on fire. Officials say you should also bring pets indoors or make sure uh, they have a warm place to take shelter. Finally, make sure to check family, friends, and neighbors who may need assistance. Tomorrow morning, IMPD, the Marion County Sheriff's Office, and the Professional Blended Street Outreach Team will be handing out warming kits. Yeah, they'll be going to areas where there are often homeless people. They'll help take them to shelters and look for any health issues as well, like hypothermia or frostbite. Officials will hand out kits that include a wool blanket, a hat, gloves, and hand warmers.